Hey guys, Dalton here, and you're watching another episode of DC Collects. Today, we're going to be going through a comic book collection. I got these from a good friend a couple years ago. I just recently got them out of storage and got time to go through them. So, let's take a look, guys. First up, we have the amazing Spider-Man. This is the first appearance of Carnage. I will mention too, guys, that these are all pretty much modern age books, but still pretty cool nonetheless. A lot of really cool artwork covers, and I'm definitely no expert, so if anyone knows anything about these comics that I don't mention, please, by all means, tell me. I'd love to know more about them. That'd be awesome. Next, we have the next book in the series which is the second appearance of Carnage. And that is just a sick cover, guys. Spider-Man, Carnage, and Venom all, all on the same cover. Can't beat that. Moving along, we have the third appearance of Carnage. And I won't lie, this is definitely my favorite artwork out of all three comics. They just did a wicked job with the artwork on all three of their faces. So that's really cool. Next up we have Men a Venom, excuse me. Shiver Part 1. Again. Very cool cover. Like I said, guys, if you know anything about these comics and Leave it down in the comments, please. I'd love to know more about the books. An Incredible Hulk. Just super cool artwork. Whether these books are worth a lot, I'd, I'll keep them forever just because they're, to me, a pretty cool collector's item. Another Incredible Hulk. Also got the Abomination on that cover. Pretty cool stuff there. Another Incredible Hulk. I really like this one, guys, because that's uh, Fing Fang Foom. Breathing fire at him there. Fing Fang Foom is actually the dragon in the original Shang-Chi story. Fing Fang Foom's ship crash landed, and that is where the Emperor got the Ten Rings, essentially, is out of Fing Fang Foom's ship. So that's the big story deviation for the MCU there, but I like what they're doing with the stories, and they seem to take their own spin on things, but still respect the comics at the same time. So it's the best of both worlds, I think. Another Incredible Hulk. Who's on there? I'm not even sure who's on the cover with them, guys. Some pyro. Okay. <laughs> so this is another Incredible Hulk. Versus the Grey Hulk. <laughs> Sorry if I've already said this a couple times, but again, the artwork is just awesome. On pretty much all of these... Really, really cool. We definitely got a few books to go through here, though, guys. Another Incredible Hulk. Nothing too crazy about that one, but... Cool nonetheless. Ah, uh, here's a book that I really like. It's a Marvel Knights Hulk. And, uh... Just really love the artwork on that one too. Here is a Runaways. Super cool cover. Wasn't as crazy about the TV series on this one, but it wasn't bad. I definitely wouldn't say it was bad, so. And getting into my favorite X-Men comics. 
Sorry, guys. Besides the Spider-Man, X-Men, second favorite. Nice Wolverine on the front there. Some Sentinels. Looks like Gambit. And Rogue coming in the back. So, cool book. Another cool X-Men one. Got Wolverine clawing in the top of a Sentinel head there. Love that one. Another cool one, guys. This is actually a variant cover. So that's Cosmic Ghost Rider and the Fantastic Four. Really, really enjoy that cover. Super nice book. Got an X Factor. This is one of the books that I am really not familiar with. Got an Eternals book here. Can't beat that cover. That is really sweet. This is the first book in the series, so pretty cool. This one's a really cool book too, guys. Bride of Doom. So it looks like the Fantastic Four at Doom's wedding. It's pretty, pretty awesome cover. Here's a Captain Marvel. Not my favorite artwork, but still cool nonetheless. Another Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Got a bunch of Captain Marvels here, guys. I'm just going to whip through them for you. Some really, really nice artworks here, though. Go. Yeah. Some of my Fantastic Four stuff. Johnny Storm on the front there. There's a thing picking up a boulder. Pretty sweet. Oh, this one's a really cool cover too, guys. Really like that book. Super cool to look at. Looks like Johnny Storm's in trouble here. Fantastic Four. I think everyone, once the Fantastic Four comes to the MCU, guys, look out for all their stuff to go up in price because they're just it's a it's a great team and there's really nothing not to like about them. So once they finally do a good movie and tell a good story about them, they're gonna get popular. Trust me. There's a nice one of Galactus. Again, super cool book. Got a couple more Fantastic Fours, and then we're getting into the X-Men, guys. Ooh, here we go. That's a nice book. Anything with Spider-Man in it. It's sick. Now, like I said, guys, I don't know very much about comics at all. Um, definitely really new to this. But I've been a massive Marvel fan my whole life, so I feel like it's only fitting that these fell into my hands. Um, so yeah, I'd love to know anything you guys could tell me about the books. I know modern age is not as desirable for people, but eventually they will be old. Here we go. Here's a couple that I really like, guys. So here's my the X Men ones. Look at that. Wolverine and Sabretooth. What a sick cover. Gnarly battle going on there. Oh, this one's easily one of my favorites. I really love Juggernaut. Probably one of my favorite X Men. Him and Wolverine, easily my two favorite X Men. Um. But that is like a really sick cover, guys. Wow, love that one. Moving on. Most of these X-Men ones, that 
are I don't the artwork is phenomenal. Like it's compared to the other ones in comparison, they're way better in my opinion. Phoenix and Gambit going at it. Yeah, watched a lot of X-Men cartoons growing up as a kid. Emma Frost. Wolverine in there. Not sure who that X-Men is, guys. Not familiar with her. Our work is amazing, though. Oh, here's another cool one, guys. So there's Juggernaut. It's the Trial of Juggernaut. Juggernaut, part two of two. Number one's coming up next. Love that cover, though. Nice book. Here's a rare occasion you'll see Juggernaut Unmasked. That's part one of two. Oh, this. <laughs> wait to see this cover. Look at that, guys. A gorilla, Black Panther, and Storm. Like, that is just, that is some killer artwork. Props to the artists on this one. Like, seriously. Really cool book. Another amazing one, guys. Again, the artwork is just phenomenal. <laughs> it sounds like a broken record. Love that book. Got a few more X-Men here, guys, and that'll do it for this one. If you guys are enjoying this content, though, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be coming out with tons more content like this. I've got tons of other stuff going on, too. Um, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year, so help me out, guys. Anyways, here's the next book. Cool one with Silver Surfer on the front. Really cool art. Nice book. I'm assuming that's a Colossus Fist. But that is pretty sweet cover as well. Really like that one. Nice book. Ooh, another one of my favorites. These ones just almost look like movie covers or something. Like, I don't know. I, I, I like them a lot, as you can tell. And that's going to do it for the X-Men comics, guys. Okay, I'm going to do a part two on this, guys, because I still have a half a box of comics to go here, and I don't want to take up too much of your time today. So thanks so much for watching, guys. That'll do it for today, as I said, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.